As the year comes to a close, we all go a little crazy. Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back and today I'll be checking the Mad Masters off the 1001 movie checklist. If you don't know what the 1000 movie checklist or 1000 movie challenge is, it's basically a challenge I've given myself to check every single film off the 1001 movies you must see before you die book. So far I've checked 188 films off the list. If you want more you can check out my playlist up there with every single video I've checked off so far along with an intro video. As always let's get started with a short summary. A short documentary depicting a Halka ceremony where young workers are possessed by British colonial officers. And I am totally not sure if I pronounced Halka correctly at all, so please correct me if I'm wrong if you know. I do not. This film was one, very difficult to find. The only version I could find had a bunch of French text cards at the beginning that I barely was able to decipher. Well, I wasn't at, able to decipher it at all with the very little French that I know, so I did have to put it into Google Translate and this is what it comes out to say. I only did that once I finished the short film and it really helped me understand it a little bit better, but this film was also very, very difficult to find. I believe I found it on the US Congress the U.S. Library of Congress, I believe, is where I found it. It was hard for me to find. I could not find it streaming anywhere. It is not for sale on Amazon, streaming or physical otherwise. Very difficult to find. <sighs> I also had to use some Boolean operators if you know what I mean. Something that I learned in English and research classes in high school and college. That really helps me find it if you really, really want to see this after I talk about it. Because a lot of the time with this film, I was really trying to figure out what was happening. Even after getting the title cards translated, the narrator was sort of hard to understand. He was speaking English, but it was a very heavy accented English that made it kind of hard hard to understand a lot. This is why I like to have things with subtitles, but where I found it did not necessarily have the subtitles. It is a very intense and weird short film. It's supposed to be some people getting possessed. It does feel a lot, and from the narration, like they are play acting, I did see in a summary of the film on IMDb that it was a mockumentary, but in the book and everywhere else I could find it did not really say anything about a mockumentary. It seemed very weird, like these citizens of this town or this state or wherever they are in, this con this city, that's what I'm looking for. It's a city. The, some of these citizens in the city are part of this cult that take this hallucinogenic drug and go on these crazy trips where they become British colonial officers that are taken over their city. It's very weird. I just, it was, it was very strange. But I do like the balance of showing at the beginning and the end the normal lives that these men and I think there's some women lead before going to the cult headquarters and seeing them take this drug, offering their sacrifices, which fair warning, I'm not going to show it here, there is an actual animal killed in the documentary, but the transformations of the people into these British officers and just their trips in general are very scary. It's very, it, it's strange and it's intense because they start convulsing and foaming at the mouth and doing all of this crazy weird stuff. It's like they have rabies because they're constantly foaming at the mouth. Their eyes are just tilting into the back of their head. It's, I, I, mm. And this is probably got the record for the shortest 1001 episode now because we're at the clip. I honestly think this is the first time I could not pick anything for the clip while I was writing this script. So please enjoy whatever I decide to throw up here for 30 seconds in post. And the third Auka rises. He is Captain Malia, the captain of the Red Sea, who does a slow march, the parade march of the British Army. And that is all I have for the Mad Masters. As always, these are just my opinions, but I'd love to know yours in the comments down below. Have you seen this film? If you have, please tell me where you found it. If you saw it in like a film class or something. This has been the hardest film for me to find, so 
good luck to you. After doing all of these short films, let me know your favorite short film in the comments down below. If you know which films I've already watched or just follow my progress along in general, there are links in the description to a Google Doc that has every single film I've checked off so far. You can also check my letterbox. I'm also an Amazon affiliate, so if you'd like to start the challenge for yourself, not watch this movie. You cannot get this movie that I talked about today on Amazon or anywhere else, but you can get the movie I'm going to be talking about next time. There are links in the description, and if you purchase things from those links, I'll get a small percentage that'll help make this channel even better. Starting the new year off by checking a film off the list I have been meaning to check off since it was in theaters, Steven Spielberg's Lincoln. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, truly do appreciate you. Whoever you are, let me know here in the comments down below, and let's be friends. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe for new videos. I love talking like movies, TV shows, filmmaking, history, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye!